Welcome to the next in our brief series about the Global Standard for Information Security ISO 27001. In other presentations we have spoken briefly about the basics of what is required to implement the standard in your organization. In this part, we want to go into a little more detail and will show you a suggested roadmap to implementation. Just remember, this is not an exhaustive list. Neither is it the only way to implement the standard, but it does follow good practice. There are 18 steps in total, and we will show them over the next three slides. Here are the first six steps. Obtain management support. Form the security management committee. Determine, agree, and document the scope of the ISMS. Define the risk management methodology. Conduct a risk assessment and create the risk register. And then define the risk treatment plan. Having conducted the risk assessment, here are the next steps. Create an inventory of information assets. Choose applicable optional controls from Appendix A. Define the information security policy and supporting documentation. Create the statement of applicability. Create and undertake a security awareness program. And perform a management review of the ISMS. Just a reminder that the Statement of Applicability is a document that shows how you have responded to the requirements of Clause 4 to 10, as well as the optional controls you have selected in Appendix A. And now finally, the remaining steps. Develop an internal audit plan for the ISMS. Document and measure the effectiveness of the controls. Then perform a gap analysis and remediate any findings. Then optionally, perform a full internal audit before proceeding to the certification audit. Many thanks for watching this short presentation and we hope you found it useful. Goodbye for now.